Delacour looked around when Harry walked in and threw back her sheet of long, silvery hair. What is it? she said. Do they want us back in the hall? She thought he had come to deliver a message. Harry didn't know how to explain what had just happened. He just stood there, looking at the three champions. It struck him how very tall all of them were. There was a sound of scurrying feet behind him, and Ludo Bagman entered the room. He took Harry by the arm and led him forward. Extraordinary, he muttered, squeezing Harry's arm. Absolutely extraordinary. Gentlemen, lady, he added, approaching the fireside and addressing the other three. May I introduce, incredible though it may seem, the fourth Tri-Wizard <coughs> Champion. <coughs> Victor Crumb straightened up. His surly face darkened as he surveyed Harry. Cedric looked nonplussed. <coughs> he looked from Bagman to Harry and back again, as though sure he must have misheard what Bagman had said. Fleur Delacour, however, tossed her hair, smiling, and said, Oh, very funny joke, Mr. Bagman. Joke? Bagman repeated, bewildered. No, no, not at all. Harry's name just came out of the Goblet of Fire. Crumb's thick eyebrows contracted slightly. Cedric was still looking politely bewildered. Fleur frowned. 